What's good, everybody? Actually, it's not really good, bro, because I'm really mad at Kanye, bro. I'm really mad at Kanye, bro. Day in, day out, I be trying to defend this man, and I can't defend him no more, bro. Where are my Yeezy pods, bro? Where are my Yeezy pods? But, nah, I recently saw that he took them off of the website, or they just no longer on the website. So, they were... They were sitting on the website for a very long time, um, basically since he dropped them until now, which was maybe like, well, shoot, they came out like maybe a couple of days before the Super Bowl. That's when I ordered mine, so a little bit like the beginning of February. It is currently the beginning of April, so that's uh, February, March, April, <laughs> two months. Two months in, and um, one, I have not received my Easy Pots, and I was like. When they, whenever they first launched, I, I bought them. So I'm one of the first people to buy them. Still haven't received my Easy Pods, and now they are no longer on the website. So what does this mean um, for the people who ordered them? Now I do have um, a little bit. I wouldn't say insider info, but um, just something that somebody had told me from them ordering off of the website because I only ordered the pods. Um, and then one of my friends, he ordered the merch and the pods, and he got his merch first. And in the email, they said, um, you'll, you'll be receiving your pods in the next two weeks. And let me see if I can try and find that message from him um, really quick just to see uh, how long ago that was. Because um, I know for a fact he still hasn't got his because he didn't post it yet. So I'm going to try and find our messages real quick. But... Bro, it's insane, bro. If you if you if you ordered Yeezy Pods and you still haven't received them, let me know in the comments below, bro. And then uh, let's see. This was so he. Wait, okay, so it was March twenty first. So March twenty eighth, March or then April fifth. That's right, right. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, one, two, three, four. Wait, I'm tripping. No, no, I'm not tripping. Yeah, four. <laughs> but I look slow. Nah, so April 4th would have been two weeks, and so he still hasn't got his, so um, I'm pretty sure, you know, that there's still... I mean, it was accurate because it was in the email that he received. Now, them holding their end to that, um, that's not the most accurate part, but obviously it's, it doesn't really matter because they were insured to be, and it even says right here, delivered within four weeks. And that's what it even said on my uh, confirmation email, so I thought I was going to been received this so let's let's just read into the article and see uh what else do we got to say man because honestly i mean at the end of the day bro it's twenty dollars um you know i bought me and my mom a pair so i spent like maybe like i think i paid 50 something maybe 60 honestly with taxes and shipping and all that but you know it's twenty dollars i mean it is what it is right so uh, Kanye West has got the world buzzing with a premature early release of his latest footwear, the innovative, innovative Yeezy Pod socks. The Yeezy Pod socks that previously went live prematurely is now live for pre-order. So I bought them prematurely. Um, according to, and I still haven't got them, bro. That's just insane. According to the Yeezy Supply website, the Yeezy Pod will be delivered within four weeks. And I've been wondering, bro, um, because I know when I first got into shoes, a lot of people, like, if they... If they never receive the shoes like in a like X amount of time, they would charge back with their credit card. And I did pay on my credit card, so I'm wondering if I can I can do that charge back, but still be able to get my shoes. Like, I just don't know because he hasn't even like is there's no tracking info, there's nothing, right? So I don't even know what the process is. So I don't want to cancel it and then not get them, and then now I don't even have the option for it, right? Or to like you know rebuy it, so. If somebody is like real familiar with the credit card game, let me know in the comment section below. That would be very helpful. Um, these sock like shoes are a testament to the brand's commitment to the pushing boundaries of footwear design. Crafted in Italy, the Easy Pod socks feature a sleek all black design that excuse a modern and minimalist aesthetic. The Easy Pod socks are made of a knit upper. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't really care about that. Uh, previously, Yay was working with Adidas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is basically just talking about, um, so this is what they look like on feet. It would be nice for them to be on my feet. But the, all of this is just talking about um, everything about it. Um, so, yeah, they were originally priced at $200. So people, people did buy them when they were $200.
but then obviously he refunded he refunded everybody when he changed it to $20 um, and then this just shows the sizing so I got a size 3 and I really don't know how this will really um, fit because in all of my Yeezys I need a 14 so for them to have the highest as a 13 I don't really know how that's going to go um, let's see. As pre-orders have been begun, the limited size offering of the Easy Pots has led to some confusion. One Reddit user posted a picture of the Easy Pots on foot, and it was clearly oversized despite following the size chart. Um, yeah, that's crazy because obviously you see his foot ends right there. Maybe he just ordered the wrong size. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they just run that big, but nobody knows because we can't even do an unboxing review. Um, okay, so that's it for the shoot. So, um, maybe, you know, in my theory on this, and y'all, you guys can chime in on your opinion as well, I think it came to a point where it was like, and Kanye is really kind of known for this, right? He'll have, like, the vision, and he'll just say something, or he'll just do something, and then he kind of, like, retracts it a little bit, because he's like, yeah, in theory, of it, like, it sounds good. But then when you get to doing it, um, it kind of just doesn't really work out your way, right? So I think that was his whole point because his whole point of making it twenty dollars to begin with was um, he had some interview and he was basically just saying like we want to I want to go to a point where I can make everything affordable. And then obviously this was during like his beef with Adidas, so he was like, bro, I can sell anything at any price; it don't matter. Um, and so I'm gonna just go ahead and drop this to be all my competitors. It's gonna be at twenty dollars, and it's gonna be available for everybody. You know, I want everybody to come shopping with me because I'm cheap and I'm, I make the stuff affordable. And he kind of made he kind of made the same statement early on when he uh, before he even released the foam runners when he was trying to release the foam runners. Um, that was like his first thing to try and make a, a, a more affordable shoe. And then so then it came to a point where. He left it on the side because me personally, I didn't. I did not think that he was gonna leave them. Um, he was gonna leave them on the site available that long. You know, even now they're just coming off of the site. I still think that was way too long to be on there. Um, and I, I can only imagine how many uh, pairs that they sold. I remember. Um, I remember when they first dropped. I think they had like he showed like text, and I think he sold maybe like seventy thousand. It was like anywhere between 70,000 to 200,000 uh, pairs. And that was just like on the first day. So I can only imagine how many pairs he sold having it just running through this entire, this two month span with all types of ads on Instagram. Because, bro, I see an ad of Yeezy Supply on my, you know, and then he had the Super Bowl campaign. So, um, you know, I can just only imagine how many orders, and especially for $20, because. When you set it at $20 uh, retail mark, that, that gets a lot of people curious, right? Anybody, I wouldn't say anybody, but literally the mass majority of people can can afford $20 or, you know, oh, it's just $20. Well, I don't even like it. Let me just see what it's about, right? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like $20, you can experiment with $20 compared to $200. And so I think that's what it came to it. Um, a lot of people were just buying it just to say that they have them a lot of people were just experimenting to see what the hype was about it's literally twenty dollars and like anybody can just drop twenty dollars right especially on a potential hype shoe that can resell and this is the first shoe of this model so obviously it's always good to keep that uh first original model so i think it just came down to the point where he was he just got overwhelmed um you know his little uh, theory that he wanted to go ahead and, and follow through it just kind of backfired on him so now I think he took them off the website and hopefully you know this is just the the best case scenario that he's just taking them off on the website so we can just focus on all of the previous orders that have already been ordered and not shipped out so uh, let me know what y'all think that's going on because um, it's crazy bro it, it's 20 and, you know and obviously bro, it's, it's like a sock so it's really not that hard to make uh, but then again, you also have to realize, um, Ye isn't with Adidas anymore, right? So he doesn't have this like billion dollar company backing it up when it comes to factories and, and manufacturers and stuff like that. Now, obviously Kanye is, a, if not a billionaire, he's for sure a multimillionaire. Um, so obviously he has the, uh, finances 
and the resources to uh, you know come to that point where where he's able to manufacture at a high rate but again you know it, it's only so much one man can do so um, but I, you know I'm trying to give him slack but bro it's, it's been too much bro I want I want my shoes bro and I think I can speak confidently on everybody else we all want our shoes so let me know what you think about it uh, let me know if you if you didn't receive your shoes if you and if you did receive your shoes, let me know where you're located. Obviously not your whole address, but just like city or state. Just so I can kind of get a grasp if, if like a certain uh, hemisphere is getting their stuff earlier than others. Because I'm in Texas, so I haven't received mine. And I ordered two. I ordered on um, two different orders. So, um, yeah, man, it, it's just rough out here. So, with that being said, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.